Again, so am I. Would you like to have a conversation with me? Maybe examine what I'm wearing? Maybe ask me about this golf course? Ah, oh, Shades, you're awake! <laughs> Glory to Dad Kind. Welcome back to Dak Game, the show where we take a look at video games with sexy, sexy couples. I'm Shades, and today we got to get to some of the sexy games that I missed while I was in a coma because they've been piling up on my desk, and I, I, it's out of control. It's out of fucking control, and I can. There's only so much cleaner I can use on my desk. Before it turns into that soggy cereal that sits in your cereal bowl when you leave it in there five seconds too long. I have a fapping problem. A game I've been waiting for for a while now is Super Kinky. A game described as brutal, bloody, and balls to the walls, with endless hordes of monsters. There's skeletons holding dildos, an ass blaster bike you can ride, and not a moment given where there isn't something sex related on the screen. Dildos and vibrators for weapons! Ha! <laughs> I'm covered! Ho 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 ho! Well, I mean. I mean, they're not all mine. I mean, most of these are Terry's. The last time we really dived into anything first person sexy was Zombia, and I had a fun time with that. I expect this game will also not take itself too seriously. They also made a game called Realm of the Flesh, with some tits, ass, and zombie gameplay, but it seems that this was the better child of their creations. Booting up the game, we're presented with a girl laughing at the company logo. Fuck me. The amount of censoring I'm gonna have to do in this episode alone. Seriously, if a hundred of you just pledged a dollar, I could make this my living. I mean, I could I could put out more uncensored reviews. Seems like I'm shilling, doesn't it? Well, I am. Because I'm a whore. I don't want to look at titty games for a living. A blood-filled river, a wanking skeleton, and a demon with his cock out. It's got the makings of a story you can tell at the Sunday church. Straight away, this game looks fucking schmick. The time in terms of presentation is just gorgeous. They weren't fucking around. It ain't just another bloody boobs to add to the steam shithole list. This is legit. So we're presented with three chapters we can enter. Hot and horny, suckfest, and bare boned. Sounds like Fedora's Tinder profile. Checking out the story, it's about a horny woman who transformed during a threesome into a superhero. And we're all out of cocaine! Episode 1, which I guess is this game, says the succubus Lilith has taken Earth's sex toys and has given them to her demons. So Super Kinky must enter hell herself to get them back. It sounds like the plotline to a parody porn version of Killjoy. No, I actually scratched that. It sounds like the plotline to a new Killjoy movie. We start in a hall with a dildo bat in hand. Also, play Spot the Dick, because they're everywhere. I mean, even the handles for the doors are dicks, my dude. There ain't no fucking around. The music ramps up as we drop into the arena. We slap, shoot, destroy baddies far and wide. It's a fucking bloodbath. It's satisfying. The sound of the shotgun, the splatter of the bad guys, and the fact that you're picking up sex toys as you go. Which sounds like what a certain YouTuber might do, you know, going on a murderous rampage because YouTube keeps fingering him in the asshole. Oh, something like that. Collecting sex toys boosts our score, which is what we're aiming for. The misdirection of episode 1 seems like it would have some levels to it, but really we're thrust into a wave of monsters, which isn't a bad thing. Mm. I mean, I don't mind racking a score. Hell, the noise of collecting sex toys is so satisfying. Certain toys you collect have bonuses attached to them, giving you extra points. <laughs> Um... Okay, instead of having a wardrobe for Super Kinky, you can change her appearance as a 
dead corpse. What a weird choice. To be honest, I'd rather pick up sex toys and then unlock strap-ons and then wear them in the battlefield, but to change them like this is a very odd choice. They're super kinky. And then there's rip my hole out with a fucking blender bitch kinky. Besides not being able to change them outside the arena, they're just cosmetic. So the sawcock doesn't actually do any damage, nor does the electric vibrator. It's very disappointing. I feel there was an opportunity missed here. Other pickups baddies may drop a arse loop to make your duo sword a one hit kill, a nurse that gives you health, some multipliers, and even gallery picks we can check out for some sexy pinups. At the end of the round, you'll be given a score and a rank on how you did. Trust me, they have enough names to call you. I've played this a lot, and so far, I haven't seen a repeat as of yet. So if you like being degraded even more while playing sexy video games, Super Kinky's got you covered. Besides the sword, you have a shotgun, which is great to blow enemies apart, and a Gatling gun. Ammo appears around the arena in traps, so it's a risk for the reward. Though the weapons are amazing in their damage, I do wish there were more. There's so many ideas for weapons. I mean, like butt plug grenades or, or butt bead whips. Such a missed opportunity. Oh. Next up is Suckfest. Let's check this out. Hey, look at that! It's the fuck bike! You know, that's, that, they show that on the Steam page. It's like a main cell! No, you don't get to ride it! It stares at you with a fuck you. There could have been a bike arena with some on wheels gore action and pleasure you as you ride. But no, fuck my ass! You leave the best part of the game outside! You see, as much as I love Super Kinky's presentation, there are times where I feel like it fucks me in the ass. And I'd like to be taken on a date first. The Suckfest Arena gives us some suck to fight, which does add to the mix of a smaller, cramped room. The third level is... That's neither sexy or metal as fuck. Just makes me concerned for anybody that's pissing out their dick. This level adds some objects in the middle to really mess with the dynamic I've adopted, the merry-go-round technique strafing around the arena blasting fuckers and collecting points. Here it's much harder though. There seems to be some places to e Oh, what a poor hamster! I mean, what a way to go! Shit covered and then shish kebabbed! You gotta hand it to them. Each death has a slight way of creativity in terms of inserted items into one's anus. That's actually the name of my TED talk I'll be doing next year. Because I'm full of knowledge. And I've seen some shit. Okay, so unlocking the mags. You get some tasty pinups, which I assume it's girls they've asked to be in the game. And they're very high quality, so if you're into pinups, this might be a jam. Though every cover is just an image replaced, so the effort doesn't go all the way when it comes to this comedic slaughter sex romp. Anybody supposed to fat one of you is gonna do it, isn't it? One of you is gonna fat to that. What do you want a fucking medal? And this is the problem I have. I'm conflicted. First, this is the good part. I've sunk over two hours into this game because I love the challenge of score, blasting baddies, and training to get better. It's a good time killer. It's well made. The sounds, the graphics, the controls all feel satisfying, and it looks sexy. But, you can tell this game was going to be more than just this. Calling it episode 1, we actually never even see this demon Lilith. It's not a story. It doesn't need one if the gameplay is just this. But when you give it a story, I expect a few corny levels like in Duke Nukem Forever. Maybe more than just three arenas. Some small buildings to walk through. I mean, how do we even get to hell? Where's the pause menu? The options menu? You can't even bind a controller without a mapping program. I want to ride the bike! That's the selling point! I want strap-ons to be buffs for the character. And there's no achievements. Yeah, that's right. They were going to put achievements in, but they said that the engine doesn't support it. Meaning unity. This game feels like part of a greater product. You're so close to being a fuck parody 
of Duke Nukem or Doom, but it falls short with missed opportunities everywhere. So if you buy it, don't expect much more than a shoot fest of three arenas. Though in that regard, for what it does have, it's fun and challenging and well made. Thus why I'm conflicted. I'm still drilling hours into the game, but just to rank my score. I like to think the devs will look at the mixed reviews and rethink the strategy to relaunch the game in a more finished state though. So to sum up Super Kinky, it's kind of like massaging your prostate. You know it's really difficult, you know, like it's fairly messy, there's a lot of prep. You're not going to get it right on your first time, you know, it, it, it's uncomfortable. But the end result, you can't, <laughs> oh, it's good. But wouldn't you rather someone else fuck you? Because it would feel so much better. What I'm saying is that the game should be bigger and better and it should be... I'm Shades, and remember, you get what you paid for. <laughs> I'm going to take one of these dildos, and I'm going to shove it into Dave's eye socket. How long have I been in a coma?